Uh, my name is Jordan Mareka, and or before I got sick, I loved to hunt and fish. I'd fish about every weekend during the summer, and during the fall, I'd go hunting about every weekend. So Jordan's a young man that we've known here at Texas Children's Heart Center for quite some time now. He was born with a very rare defect in which his heart, instead of facing to the left, like everyone's heart, his faces to the right. Also, the two main arteries that leave his heart uh, are switched. And that is called corrected transposition and dextrocardia. And we know that many of these patients over time will eventually develop heart failure. And unfortunately, he's been developing heart failure over these last few years. But really over the last four to five months, we've seen a distinct change and his heart failure continued to get worse to the point that he needed IV medication. And then really, uh, before we went ahead with this operation, uh, his heart had completely failed. And it was so weak that it couldn't even uh, give him enough blood volume or perfusion so that he could breathe on his own. So he had to be put on a mechanical device to breathe for him and then his kidneys and liver started failing. And so we, I would say that without the device he probably wouldn't have been alive another 24 hours. So the procedure has been done in adolescence uh, a few times in the world. Uh, However, we're the only pediatric hospital to ever put one in. We put the art, total artificial heart in. It's there doing the function of the right and the left side of the heart. And remember, in him, it was a little bit different. We had to put it in a different way because, remember, his heart was in backwards. And not only was it in backwards, but then the main arteries were switched around. But once we have that in, then these connect uh, through tubes that actually go through his skin and out to a machine. And this machine pumps air into the device and pumps it into one side of this chamber. And the chamber is split into two. One is the air side and one is the blood side. So as the air is pushed in, the diaphragm pushes the blood out and you have a heartbeat. Uh, really got better within a few days and actually he got his breathing tube out within three to four days uh, after a 15 or 16 hour operation. I feel about 10 times or 100 times better than I did before the artificial heart. Like, I don't get short of breath anymore, tired, no more chest pains. I just feel 100 times better. This is only temporary until we get a perfect match. It will also get me stronger and I can get my strength back so when I do get my transplant the recovery won't be as long and it'll be a lot faster. Um, and then so after the surgery he had to recover from all of that time in which his organs, now his organs because the device gives you perfect output uh, really got better within a few days and in the last few weeks he's done an unbelievable job with that and that's really a lot of his effort right and his desire uh, to do well and he's really uh, made unbelievable amounts now he's walking you have to understand probably for months he couldn't barely get out of, or I should say a month he couldn't get out of bed now he's walking uh, about a mile once I get out of the hospital I plan on attending A&M at Galveston and studying marine biology. Well, he'll have a heart transplant and in time uh, and because of that he'll continually need to be followed up by our cardiology team, our heart transplant cardiology team that will see him in a month, you know, in a bi-weekly, then a monthly and then spread it out to six months and then uh, perhaps even yearly. My doctors have been amazing. Dr. Morales is awesome. He's a great guy. Very smart. Uh, the recovery wouldn't have been as fast without Dr. Morales. And then my nurses, I mean, they're just awesome. I couldn't, I wouldn't be here talking to y'all without them. I'd probably still be intubated. They've made they made my stay at Texas Children's 
more like a home. The great thing about our, our heart failure program and, the, and Texas Children's Heart Center or Heart Failure Center is that unlike really any other pediatric heart center, we can customize the device best suited for that child's heart failure and their size. So just because you're smaller or larger or younger or older, you're not going to get a device that's not the best device for you because we only have one device. And which is why, uh, unlike most p pediatric hospitals, we have four or five different devices because we believe that we can take care of any child of any size with the best device for their particular heart failure. Our outcomes fortunately have been excellent uh, or outstanding really and the reason that is is not only because of the devices that we're allowed to put in or that we have available to us but also the team that we've created and that's our commitment.